So we have been telling you about this for months. The unruly passengers and attacking flight attendants and disrupting flights. Well, today, the FAA making it PSA to warn these passengers. We got a disruptive customer in the back. They cleared a harder seat. We'd like to uh, divert. Stay down, man. Stay down. As there's no struggle going on, uh, he is restrained now. It's crazy, and the numbers bear it all out here. There have been nearly 4,000 unruly passenger reports this year, 99 in the last week alone. And in 2020, the FAA initiated 183 investigations. This year, we're talking almost 700. So I spoke with the Flight Attendants Union about what can be done about this. Air rage has, unfortunately, become all the rage nowadays. And flight attendants have bared the brunt of the rage. Taylor Garland works for the Association of Flight Attendants, representing more than 20,000 workers, including some Cleveland-based. Flight attendants who've been flying for 30 plus years, this is the worst we've ever seen it. And it's hard every day knowing you come to work and you might end up in a confrontation. Of the nearly 4,000 unruly passenger reports this year, more than 2,900 of them involve masks. Whatever your political beliefs may be, and unfortunately, even though it is a public health measure, it has become a political stance. Whatever they may be, it doesn't matter. You signed up when you bought that ticket to wear a mask throughout the travel experience, and having to constantly remind grown adults is really dragging on flight attendants. I consider this an inconvenience, of course. Nobody likes to be wearing masks. Nobody likes to be you know, following certain protocols when on the airplane, but we got to do what we got to do when we want to get there. Garland says the FAA is sending this letter to airports asking them to crack down on alcohol to go in bars and restaurants. The letter saying in part, quote, our investigations show that alcohol often contributes to this unsafe behavior and passengers believe they can carry alcohol onto their flights. It's reckless behavior that's also driving more flight attendants to crew member safety defense classes. The classes are not new, but I'm told they've been much more popular. What we're seeing across the country is flight attendants are signing up on their own time without getting paid to take these classes so that we have all the tools available to us should we confront something like an unruly passenger on board. Garland also wants unruly passengers federally indicted. This Huron County man, for example, drunkenly assaulted multiple flight attendants, according to a police report, and did not face federal charges. What we'd like to see is the Department of Justice actually take some of these cases to criminal prosecution. Some of them involve physical assault, sexual assault, um, or really threatening of the entire cabin and the safety of that flight. 